all got a flyer? Thank you, sir. Ten reasons to protect the unborn. Thank you! Right now we're really in the heart of Washington, D.C. It's K Street and 17th. It's really the nerve center of the business district in Washington. 23 volunteers out here under the hot sun defending the rights of the unborn. It tends to be liberal down here in Washington, D.C., but it's a good area to defend what's right, defend the unborn, and stand up for, for the law of God. You don't understand Why abortion can't God be at all. Why can't God be part of this? I, I fifth, am a complete, fifth, deep believer but, in God. But the fifth commandment is, thou shalt not kill. Oh, look. So why, if you believe in God, yeah. you would be in favor of saving the You could never argue me out of this. This is pathetic. We have climate change we've got to worry about. I think God is the creator of this right. miraculous and God, and God created life. He is the author of life. Planned Parenthood dismembers and sells the body parts of unborn babies. Why? Yes, for it's what true. Reason? For profit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, I'm totally against them. I just didn't yeah. know that. The brain is one price, the liver is That's another price. Disgusting. Yeah. He's In the murdered. case of abortion, oh, it's oh. always, it's never going to be a happy ending because the child is murdered. He's been guilty of yes. murder. Yeah, absolutely. So, okay, so, well, let's say they are murdered. Uh, no, Would you murder. rather have a family have to live off of the government so, because they cannot financially support so, that? So, would you rather be yes. dead? Yeah, like if my mother had an abortion, how would I know that I die? So, you obviously how would don't I know? Care. I'll be All back. Right. Put y'all at 2.30. Watch your language next time, sir. It doesn't make sense. Like in the case of rape, it doesn't make sense that the baby needs to pay for the crime of the father, right? The crime of the father in uh, case of the rape? Yeah, yeah, yeah but rape. I think in the root of this, is there's more education. Men, Actually, you if know, you, I know men shouldn't be raping in the first you know place. The best, you know what I mean? You know the best that prevention fall on the is purity right. and chastity. Purity That's the waiting to have relations until within the context of marriage. Just, I don't believe in it. I'm pro-choice 100% all so the way. So you're pro-murder? No, I'm pro-choice. It is a choice to murder. It's though. a choice to murder. Mm. Is it not? That is not how I see it. But it feels like really like one-sided when it's just white males professing all this stuff. If I, were, if I were in favor of Black Lives Matter as a white man, could I actually do that? Or would my opinion be invalid because you I'm could, not black? Yeah, no, you could definitely but support it but you can't be out there professing, you know. You're being a You're telling everyone else what to do with their lives. And you are insulting me by telling me that my daughter or my wife or my niece does not have a right to make her own decision. That you are the only one who can make decisions for them. Because you offend me by saying no one else has a right. It is a piece of flesh. It is no more than a tumor at that point. Keep abortion safe and leave it there. Do all you gentlemen understanding that? Keep abortion safe and legal. 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 Is it ever safe to kill a baby? Keep abortion safe and legal. Do you care about babies? I do care about babies. Then why don't we let them live? Let them live. I am letting them there live. There is no safe abortion. I am abortion. making a choice. There is no safe abortion. Keep it safe and legal. What is a safe, what is a safe way to kill somebody? How, how many families do you currently support? Many. Who are many? many I, I support a culture that would, that would help keep the glue of society together, keep the family together. Do because you? if the family breaks apart, then children suffer. All of the choices that I have made have helped me be able to raise this child the way that I feel is the best. We'll be praying for your child as well. Oh, hey, thanks a lot. You're welcome.
There is a question of when the baby is a real baby. Yeah, how do you know? When you know? How do you know? Has its own because DNA? You got, are, are you a scientist? Are you a scientist? Are you a scientist? That's what the scientists say. Uh, are you a scientist? Are you? Are you? Are you? Are you? Are you, a scientist? you don't have to be a weatherman to know it's raining. You don't have to be a scientist to know when something's alive. How do you know? Okay. Uh, Absolutely. It's a child, right? No. But how do you know a baby when it's a child? What happens when a woman gets pregnant? Where is that? When no, we have What happens when a woman gets pregnant? What happens? What, what, happens? Happens? what is the result of a pregnancy? When is it? What is the outcome of a pregnancy? The baby. Okay. Get rid of it. Get rid of it. Rape is immoral. Get rid of it. It's like a cancer. So kill the child. Rape is immoral. Kill, kill the cancer. Murder the child. Kill the cancer. It's a child. Not a cancer. A cancer. It's a child. I saw this video where I guess like in another country and like uh -huh. they aborted the baby and everything. They literally right. put the, the the like baby literally in the gutter and let it go down in the gutter. That's disgusting. Oh, I said that is so cool Absolutely. to do. To a baby like that. That's why I don't believe it. Deserves a, it deserves a chance at life. Right, right? yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm way against abortion. I do not like the abortion thing. But thanks thank for you very much. Support. We are the generation that's going to abolish abortion in our lifetime. We thank you so much for being out here in support. Why are you doing all this? What, what motivates you? Well, we're doing this to uh, protect the unborn. And what motivates us is, uh, I believe what mo motivates me is Our Lady. And, um, you know, one thing that a mother cares for most is her children. So that's why I'm out of here. Can you tell me what motivates you? Just knowing that there are people out there like us that are supporting us. The best pro-life thing I've had out here is um, a man walked up and shook everyone's hand and said, God bless you, you're saving America. This really nice lady came over and said, you are doing a wonderful job, and she proceeded to give everyone a free snow cone. Someone rolled down their window the other day and told me to come over, and he said, thank you for being a real man and supporting the defenseless. What's the most common objection you all have out here? Uh, where's the women? That's the most common objection is where's the women? What do you tell them? I say real men defend women and children. Uh, do people try to discourage you from what you're doing? Oh yes, people always drive by and they're like cursing at us and sort of vulgar things. Uh, what's the worst thing you've heard from pro-abortion advocates out here in this tour? The worst thing I've heard is um, one man drove past us and said uh, kill the babies and throw them in the garbage. Hey say terrible things like hail Satan. I didn't have time to tell him anything. He just kind of zoomed by. He didn't have the confidence to come confront us. Is that normal for pro-abortion advocates? Absolutely. It's very normal. So that, Well, what's the worst thing you've heard from pro-abortion advocates out here? Uh, probably you should have been aborted. Somebody told you that? Yep. Uh, mm -hmm. Can you tell me if you're getting a lot of uh, negative response today? Not that much negative, just screaming things we can't really understand and then driving away like they usually do. Now what would you tell uh, pro-life people out there? Uh, keep up the good fight and never give up. It may seem like you're a minority, but in reality we're making a comeback and we're going we're gonna to end abortion in America. I would tell them, don't, don't hide in the shadows, uh, stand up. Stand up for the unborn because they need us. If America fails to protect the unborn, America fails to protect her future.